Rapidly changing technology creates both new strategic possibilities for business and cybersecurity risk. Strategic adoption of new technologies and management of cybersecurity have become cornerstones of organizational strategy. And joining me today with more is Kumar Mehta, the director of George Mason University's Masters in Technology Management and Masters in Management of Secure Information Systems Programs. And also, as I take a breath after that, <laughs> Frank Strickland, the director of Deloitte. 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 Okay. Deloitte. 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 Okay, I got it. Deloitte. Um, and graduate of Mason's technology uh, technology management program. So welcome to you both. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I thought yes. Mr. Kumar's name was the one I was going <laughs> to stumble over. How are you guys doing? Very good. Doing good. great. Thank well, you. I'm glad you guys are here today. So we're talking about technology and the way it's changing and how it's shaping business. Go. Tell me more about it. Well, uh, if you actually look at it. Uh, not so long ago, less than 10 years ago, we had maybe one or two computers connected to the internet at home. Mm -hmm. Now we have all the mobile devices that we cannot live without. Of course. <laughs> and on top of that, if you cl look closer, we have uh, thermostats. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our cars, our refrigerators. Everything is becoming a computer. Right. And Television. Then we can Television, right. <laughs> yeah, everything. So. Out of this, every business is sort of trying to adapt and reshape itself. I mean, TV stations are no <laughs> different in this. If you look at Uber, for mm -hmm. example, uh, you know, how we call a taxi, how we ask for a ride, mm -hmm. the whole business is changing. Along with this, of course, comes the second part of the problem, is while it creates all these possibilities, it also creates a risk. Yeah. Uh, we keep this data in order to serve customers, in order to serve our employees. And with that, together, businesses are trying to find how they're going to adopt these new technologies. What does it mean for them? Right. Uh, what does tomorrow look like? Mm -hmm. Five years from now look like? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they're aware now that it's not just sort of doing these things, but also keeping everything secure because that's where the trust of the customer and the citizen is. Yeah, so. security is becoming a huge yeah. issue. Huge. So when we talk about techno technological leadership gap, what do we, what does that mean exactly? Go for it. So um, in 2017, mm -hmm. the federal government, as an example, has about a third of its workforce mm -hmm. that is eligible for retirement. Okay. So a lot of those federal leaders that have built up these technology skills and leadership skills mm -hmm. are going to be eligible for retirement and will start to retiring. So there is a gap there in taking the younger, newer employees who might not have that same experience and accelerating their leader development so that they're in a position to be the government technology leaders of the future. And it is a key element of what the Mason programs are doing. Hey, go ahead. So if you look at it, uh, all these younger professionals, mid-career mm -hmm. professionals, they are coming from technology background and they understand technology. What they don't understand is where in the business context does it fit? Uh, okay. Where in the government does it fit? What is right for me? What mm -hmm. makes more sense? How does this fit into my business five years from now? Uh, and that is exactly what the Masons uh, Masters in Technology Management and the Cybersecurity Management, they are geared towards building those competencies, competencies that uh, are needed for a project manager, a right. program manager, all the way to a chief information officer or a chief security officer. Gotcha. Now, Frank, you have a Masters in Technology Management. That's a technology management degree. How is right. that, how, how is that shaped and impacted what you're doing right now? Mm. So when I was a graduate student in mm -hmm. Kumar's program, I actually started a business. Okay. Uh, and it was a business that was oriented on taking the large volumes of disparate data that Kumar uh, mentioned a moment ago mm -hmm. and helping clients make better decisions. Mm -hmm. So the data is there in your business. How do you use it to make better decisions to serve your customers or execute your missions in the case of the government? Um, so in the Mason programs, one of the things that I got was not only technology leadership, mm -hmm. but strategy, operations management, finance, and then how those come together 
which is key for a leader and especially an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. uh, and in my case, was blessed that business grew uh, and was acquired by a Fortune 50 company. So it was a complete package for you it to was, move forward. It was an integration mm -hmm. of all of those disciplines in order to make the business successful. And then as a Deloitte director today, I'm using that same multidisciplinary approach to serve our clients. Gotcha. Well, Kamar Mati, Frank, thank you so much for coming in today. We definitely appreciate it. Thank you. It was thank a pleasure. You. Thanks All right. for having us. Well, we'll see you again soon. Thank you. All right, guys. Stay with us. More with Let's Talk Live coming up after the break.